Do you know what a split sheet is and why it's important for collaborating musicians to have one? We're going to talk about that in this video, along with interviewing one of our original artists who's had experience with it. We'll get into that right after this. Hey everyone, how's it going? Garrett here with you. If this is your first time watching, welcome and thank you. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing to our channel and turning on the notifications. So let's get into it. What is a split sheet? Well, in a word, it's a contract. A document between an original artist and other auditioning collaborators that details how credit and royalties will be divided. Now, the sky is the limit with regards to how much of your song you want to share in this regard. You can have the option to give no credit, or you can share any monies made by paying hourly or outright for an auditioner's contribution. Or you can split equally with any musician that helps you write a track for your song. Some bands, reportedly U2 and Red Hot Chili Peppers, they split everything equally. Now, the art of negotiating is definitely a valuable asset to have. Consider this scenario. You are an original artist who is just submitted a song and an audition has come through for it and it has a smoking hot lead and you absolutely love it. Well, the auditioner wants... Uh, songwriting credit, and a small percentage of royalties. However, you want to buy the rights to his lead with no credits and no share of royalties. The auditioner says, uh-uh, no deal. So what are you going to do? You can't steal his song because when he uploaded it, it was protected under the copyright law. So right here, this is where negotiating comes in handy. Let's speak with somebody now who's an original artist on Treble Hook. We interviewed her a few months ago and since then she's had experience with an auditioner and negotiating with a split sheet. Let's welcome Jasmine. Hey Jasmine, how have you been? I've been good, thank you. How about you? Yeah, doing pretty good. I see that on our website, you've had an addition to your song. What do you think of it? That's really nice. I like it. Well, I've put together a short video um, with the audio from your audition attached to it. Would you mind if we watch it right now? No, I would love that. Okay, great. <laughs> Wow, that sounds like a great audition. What do you think about the quality of the audio? Um, I'm happy with the with the music right now, but um, as for the audio, I think once um, the whole song is completed, we'll um, fine tune it in the studio. Okay, and how was it working with the auditioner? It was really nice. Yeah, so I agreed to give um, the auditioner 5% of the royalties and a songwriting credit. Okay, perfect. So then you guys did a split sheet then? 
Yes, that's right. And he was happy with the arrangement. Um, he's just starting off, so he wants to get his uh, his name out there. And uh, since he, he's happy with the 5%, that gives me more freedom to share the royalties with other artists who contribute. Awesome. So is your song finished yet? Not yet. Um, still looking for more instruments, maybe a violinist or a cello. Um, I'd love to have a lyricist and a singer, so keep the auditions coming. Awesome. Yeah. So for anybody watching this video, Jasmine's song can be found on our website, treblehook.net, and you'll find a list of the remaining parts to her song that she's looking for help with. So thanks, Jasmine, for your time. Thanks for uh, using Treble Hook and all the best with your song. Thanks for having me. Well, there you have it, folks. A successful example of a split sheet in action. At Treble Hook, we recommend that all musicians have a split sheet. That's it for now. I hope that you found this video helpful. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the section below. And if you've liked this video, don't forget to click that like button. Worried that your audio quality in your recording isn't up to par to be able to upload to our website? Well, in our next video, we'll talk about how that shouldn't be your focal point. That's it for me. I'm out of here.